And warm-ups just completed here at the North Peace Arena. And we'll be getting the national anthem here sung and we'll be on to live game action here in the next three or four minutes. So if you haven't topped up your coffee cup, go do that now. We'll be back to here in just a moment. All right, scratches this afternoon for the trackers be number 12, Colby Bush, and number one, Landon Hatton, as they made a road trip down over the mountains to join the Major Midget Caribou Cougars. And so National Anthem coming up here, along with your starting lineup. And starting line for your Northeast BC and Yukon trackers, number 20 will center numbers 14 and numbers 22. 20 being Curtis Lee, 14 being Noah Lang, and 22 being Chase London. On defense, we'll have number 24, Brandon Moody, and number 17, Duncan Ross. And in the iron today, we have Ole the goalie. Big Tasty gets his second start in a row. And so we'll be back here to center ice for the drop of the black biscuit here and just the tisket. And everybody shook hands at the benches and officials are looking to have a good game here as they finish their final stretches. And Kurt Lee now looks to take con control of the puck off the opening draw for your NEBC and UConn trackers on game day. Puck's pushed forward. Noah Lang will go apply some pressure. Peace River get it to the red line. Controlled now by Curtis Lee. Covers the blue line. He puts one on net. Goaltender steers it into the corner. Curtis Lee still with possession of the puck. He comes back to Noah Lang. He's going to wrap it around the boards and keeping it in at the point will be Moody. Moody puts it back into the corner. Lang's going to pull it off the boards, brings it to the near corner. He twists and turns out of uh, harm's way, but Peace River falls up and strips the puck away. Peace River now making it over their own blue line. Two on two, working on Moody. Peace River player loses the handle. He'll dump that down in the corner. Peace River still controls. And a dead silence in the arena here this afternoon, Troy. A little bit and quiet to start off with. And that's Duncan Ross goes for the check. He knocks the puck free temporarily, but he falls down. Centering pass is going to be in behind Moody. Can't find the loose puck. Puck goes off the stick of number 19. Peace River, Peace River applying pressure. And that's going to make its way out. And Peace River is going to turn. They'll dump that in out of the goal as Olsen to stop it up. 
and it will be Brandon Moody back to the puck as uh, Duncan Ross runs a little bit of interference. That's off the skate of Nathan Brownlee. Icing waved off. Brownlee drives low to the circle. Centering pass just out of the reach of Mason Gosling. And Peace River comes back in transition. They'll dump that one in off the back wall. Olsen will get out and play it around the boards up to number 10, Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick's going to have pressure. He's pushed off the puck. And Gosling can't find it in his feet as Peace River pushed that back in. And Olsen's going to push that over to Viennes. Viennes is going to go back behind the net over to Thomas Lowen. and Lowen moves it up to Raymond Dick, who gets it out of his own. Peace River gathers and shoots it back in onto the stick of Jaden Viennes. And Thomas Lowen looks up ice. That's off the stick of Raymond Dick. And Nathan Brownlee can't control it. And so Tracker's out of sorts as they are not able to make anything happen so far early in the first period. And pucks down low into the near corner. Peace River trying to drag it towards the middle. That's Gosling who takes possession of it. He gets it up to Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee's going to dump that around the boards on the hard wrap. And that's number 25, Zach Ryan, who's up playing with the big club today from the midget tier twos. And Connor Brown now comes down to the puck. He's going to go apply some pressure on the puck handler. Zach Ryan now in the corner with the puck. He gets that all the way out to uh, Arbery, oh, backhand shot by Brown, turned aside by the Peace River Netmeyer. Schwantz has it bounce over his stick at the blue line, and it's now at the blue line of the tracker. Zach Ryan's going to be harassed by the Peace River uh, forecheck, and pucks down in the corner, and Kyle Schwantz pushes it back towards Zach Ryan. Zach Ryan's taken off the puck, and he's going to have it in his skates. He plays that down low. It's intercepted by Peace River, centering pass now onto the stick of Curtis Lee. He can't handle it cleanly, but he kicks it out like a soccer ball. And that is put back up uh, by Kane Arbery and pushed back into the tracker zone. Olsen will play that around the boards. Coming to the puck is Justin Brownlee. Justin Brownlee goes below his own goal line. He still has possession of the puck. He's going to play that up to Connor Brown. Plays it up to the middle of Kurt Lee. Kurt Lee can't handle the pass from Brown. Puck's going to be pushed towards Connor Brown again. He reaches for it. It's at the Peace River blue line. Peace River's off a glove and to the blue line of the trackers. Kyle Schwantz comes D to D over to Arbery. Arbery gets set up to Rule. Rule has the puck bounce off him. He can't get around the players. And it's a big hit by Justin Brownlee as he plasters the Peace River player onto the boards. That one's going to hit the glass in behind the goaltender. The sound, every goal he loves to hear. Centering puck is just out of the reach of uh, Marcus Rule. Puck's going to be played back down low. Peace River controlling. Peace River looking like the more organized team thus far uh, early in the first period. And Rule is going to be offside here as he moves in across the line as Justin Brownlee makes that one last move and the whistle goes. Just and barely. so with 16-11 left in the first period, 0-0 zero to zero is the score. And you might see all of that on your uh, viewing on, on your TV monitor, today. Yeah. And so Michael Bacho here with his... Uh, uh, newly acquired to toys that he's going to broadcast uh, games for the Huskies with. So we're doing a little test run, see how things work. And so this is Duncan Ross at the blue line, quickly over to Moody. Shot on net's going to move. Net is off, and the whistle will go, and we'll have a face-off in the Peace River zone uh, to the left of the goaltender. And still haven't figured out those Zamboni pug plugs here. And... Squirting a little water on it already. The net miner oh. is there, Troy, so he knows the trick. Jumping the gun on that one. Kurt Lee wins that straight back. Kept in at the blue line by Thomas Lowen. He'll dump that back down the top of the circle. Bouncing puck. And it's playing to Lee uh, to London. London shoots. That one goes high. Puck bouncing in the slot. Peace River is going to clear it towards the boards. They move it back and tip it down ice. They're going to say no icing. Dakota Olson is going to put a glove on it as opposed to playing it. And so we'll get a whistle now down in the NEBC and Yukon Trackers territory. I think he should have played that one, Troy. Yeah, I could have. I always loved it when the faceoffs worked in my zone. I like that as well. It was like preventing a shot on goal. <laughs> Lang's going to win the faceoff draw down to Viennes. Viennes puts it around the boards to Lowen. Lowen's going to get that up to London. London looks up ice. He gets that through Lee, and this one's going to go across the goal line, and nobody touches it, so icing is called, and the trackers will come all the way back down. And some nice red poppies sewn onto those jerseys here. Thanks to Mrs. Ross. To uh, remember those that have provided us with the freedoms that we enjoy so thanks to Cheryl Ross for putting those on 
And pucks into the skates of Lang. Lang comes all the way up ice to London. London's going to have a step. Oh, he has it knocked away from him by the Peace River defender. Peace River gets it back to the neutral zone. Low and Thomas Lone goes over to Kyle Schwantz. Schwantz gets that up to Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee's going to cross the blue line. He's putting that towards the goal. And Lang will push that back off the shin pads of the Peace River player. He misplays it behind the net. Peace River's going to take that up and off the glass and get that through the neutral zone. It bounces over Schwantz's stick again. And... Uh, Back to the puck is Arbery. That's going to be chipped down by Lang, and he'll go for a change. Peace River's all the way back into their own zone now. They move that up to the hash marks. Looking in on the puck was number 10, Raymond Dick. It's going to bounce to Nathan Brownlee. Shot on net's going to go wide and bounce out to the near side. Peace River controls at the hash mark. They go right into the slot to their other defensive player, and they move it up through the middle of the ice. Peace River will dump that in behind Arbery out of his net to play the puck is number 33, Dakota Olsen. Partially fans on the puck and pushes it to the near side. Puck will come to Nathan Brownlee. Hard pass across the middle of the ice to Raymond Dick. And Raymond Dick's going to take the puck into the Peace River zone. He controls below the goal line. Still has possession of it. He's going to put that puck onto the stick of Nathan Brownlee. Brownlee's going to shoot it off the shin pads of the defender. And that's Arbery who's able to push that puck back down. And that'll be Raymond Dick who pushes it into the corner. Gosling touches the puck temporarily. It's going to roll to Nathan Brownlee. Brownlee puts it out to the point. Off the bench is Ross. Ross pushes it back down. Nathan Brownlee's going to find Mason Gosling. Mason Gosling can't get the shot away. He still possesses it, but he's going to put that down the length of the ice the wrong way on a reverse icing. And back up all the way. Here's Brownlee now. He just got the pass from uh, Ross. He buries it into the glass and behind the goaltender. And you know every goalie loves that sound, Troy. <laughs> they do, they do. Duncan Ross gets the puck. He's going to flip that in. It's off the stick of Justin Brownlee. No high stick. And play continues on. Pucks can come over to Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee tries to get that back to the middle. It's off the stick of Rule. It's off some player skates. It bounces to the top of the circles. And Peace River almost misplays it right there. Curtis Lee almost picks it off. Lee will have to clear the zone. And the trackers tag up and go back on to the forecheck. Peace River moving up the near side. It's off the skates of Justin Brownlee. Down to the puck now is Marcus Rule. Curtis Lee will take possession of it. He's trying to twist and turn away from pressure he still has the puck sticking to him it finally bounces away shot on net was going to go wide marty and so centering the puck is marcus rule he can't get it out front to kurt lee and puck rolls to the far side justin brownlee reaches for it it does come out justin brownlee now avoids a check and loses the puck and it'll be peace river chipping it all the way down and that's moody out of the reach of lee and the whistle will go and so with 12.25 left in the first period, another whistle, and this one comes all the way down the length of the ice. I think a little bit of rust on these boys' blades right now, I think. Lots of oxidation, I would say. Yes. First game in a couple of weeks. So they haven't, haven't played in a couple of weeks, that's right, Troy. And centering pass, and that's knocked out of the way by Connor Brown, kept in at the blue line. Shot's gonna be blocked by Jane Viennes. Puck's down in the corner, Viennes takes his man out. To the puck comes low and puck's going to be deflected wide. Hebert will now come out with it. He pushes it to Ryan. Ryan was not anticipating the pass. Viennes is going to get taken to the boards. And coming up with it is Connor Brown. Brown needs to get over the red line before he dumps it in. Puck's put up to Viennes, but Viennes can't control it. And it's back to Thomas Lowen now. Lowen comes cross ice over to Shane Hebert. Shane Hebert puts it back into forward. And that'll be Connor Brown. He's going to leave that up for Jane Viennes who jumps up on the play. Viennes carries it through the skates of the Peace River player. Brown tries to drag it through and the Peace River netminder dives on the puck and gets a stoppage of play at 11.36. Left in your first period. Score is zero to zero. Couple of donuts out there and not many good scoring opportunities going either way. Peace River looking like the team that's been playing more than the NEBC and UConn trackers at this point. London buries his player into the boards. And it'll be Lee. He's trying to search for the puck. London takes the man. Puck rolls free. Peace River player comes up to it. It's going to come to the blue line. Stepping over towards the puck is Kyle Schwantz. Schwantz is going to backhand that in, but he doesn't get it all the way down. Lang's going to reach it. Sauces it over to Lee. It's off the back skate of London. And puck's at the blue line. Arbery turns away. He was thinking about going for it. And Schwantz decides to lift the leg and leave the puck, but icing's waved off. Centering pass, going wide into the near corner. And now that's going to be Chase London 
trying to push that puck up. He's going to get that up to Kurt Lee. Kurt Lee gets it over to Noah Lang. Noah Lang in the seam. Noah Lang takes it to the ice. He's hooked up. No call. Centering pass. Oh, and Kurt Lee can't handle it. And oh, net's off again. Net is off again. No hooking going on there, no. Troy. Apparently not. When you're that co close to the official, hmm. you can see that really well. So obviously nothing like that was going on. So Mason Gosling will take the faceoff draw. Sometimes you should just do a clap bomb from right about there. You never <laughs> know what happens. Not sure if they watered it down again or not. When you bump into it and drag it around like that, it tends not to stay in place, so. And so they blow the whistle, they're ready to go. Puck's gonna be pushed back towards the point. Thomas Lone will put that back over to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick will push it around the boards, down to the puck in the near corner will come uh, Brownlee. Gosling takes the possession of it, rolls the low and low and shot on that's gonna deflect into the near corner. And to the puck first will be Gosling. Gosling trying to get that back behind the goal towards Brownlee. It's gonna come back up the near side. Brownlee pulls it to the middle. Quick shot by Dick deflects off a player and wide. And this one will go back to the point, kept in by Lowen. Lowen fans on the first attempt. Second attempt clears it back down. And Nathan Brownlee avoiding a few checks over on the boards. And he still has possession of it. He tries to pull it around the Peace River player. And kept in at the blue line is Vianz. Vianz will come back to the near side over to Mason Gosling. Mason Gosling loses the handle of it. Puck goes up and over Lowen. And over the puck comes uh, Gosling back on the back check was Dick and he knocked the Peace River player off the puck and so behind his net, Vienz comes up just out of the reach of Nathan Brownlee off the stick of the linesman who slows it down for Peace River so they can stop it back in. Oh, center, or Olsen plays the puck but it's right on the stick of the Peace River player who centers it and then it's intercepted. Brownlee thought he had somebody with him but he didn't. He pushes it then on a second attempt, taking it towards the goal. He shoots right into the middle of the goaltender and now puck comes out to the top of the circles. Peace River making their way up. Justin Brownlee will turn back. He'll find possession of the puck. He gets that over to Hebert. Hebert has his pocket picked, and it's Peace River in transition through the neutral zone, taking it back towards the tracker zone. Uh, Peace River player tries to put it in the skates of Moody. Moody doesn't fall for it. He plays the body. Peace River still controls, putting it towards the net. Pad saved by the right pillow of Dakota Olsen. And so he makes a stop to keep the game tied at zeros. Hebert trying to get that one out. It's going to bounce back in. And to the puck is Ross up to... Um, Rule who places it perfectly into Brownlee. Oh. And so puck gets uh, taken away from Duncan Ross. Peace River will dump that back in. It's Marcus Rule all the way back. He puts it cross ice over to Moody. Moody's going to sidestep a few checks. He makes his way up to the middle of the ice to Justin Brownlee. Justin Brownlee working in. Puck's going to deflect towards the goal. Rebound. And the goaltender swats it out of the air. And the net is off again. But it, the whistle goes because the goalie had it in his glove after making a good sh good save on the second opportunity by your NEBC and Yukon trackers. Yep, going to the net. Get some rebounds. Face off one over to the boards by Gosling. Down to the puck comes Brown. Brown pulls on the player and Peace River still has possession. Brown working hard out there. It's gonna bounce to Zach Ryan and Zach Ryan takes a late check. Slashing is the call. To number nine against number nine, Connor Brown. What about that late hit, Troy? Did he not hear the whistle? Uh, I've got these earmuffs on, and I could not. hear it. I heard it. So it'll be the penalty kill that gets some work at 8:24 in the first period. Peace River now is going to push that out. It's just over the reach of Noah Lang. Puck centering pass, rebound, back door, big save by Oli. The goalie pulled out from the goal wow. line and cleared. And Kurt Lee will go apply some pressure. He's going to push the Peace River player off the puck. He's going to try to get possession of it. He does so temporarily. And here comes Peace River. That's going to be off a stick and carried over the goal or red line. Lang swats it off his stick, and that's... Ross taking his player in to the boards a couple times, couple different guys. Puck is going to bounce, and Puck's in the skates of the players. Ross and Lang are going to battle for it. Ross has time. 
He's pushing it against the boards. Peace River pushes it free up to the point. Point shot comes off the stick of Lang. Rebounds, deflects to the back of the goal off a broken play. Off I think they stick. call that Wally ball when it bounces mm -hmm. off the walls a couple Very of much. times and then finally makes it pass uh, Olsen to the back of the goal. Not quite what was drawn up. Somebody needed to make a full stop there and they didn't. And can't blame the goaltender on the old ricochet. Nope. So they're going to line it up back at center. That's a power play marker for the Peace River Royals, who are now ahead one to nothing. Peace River controls off the faceoff. They're going to put that one onto the skates of Arbery. Oh, that one's going to go in offside, and the whistle goes. And so they'll line it up outside the tracker's blue line. Mason Gosling take the faceoff draw. That one's going to bounce back, and Raymond Dick can't, can't take control oh, of it. There's a trip, badly. no call there. Nathan Brownlee going to cut in on net. Will he make it 1-1? No, he will not. The goaltender will close the fifth hole and get a stoppage of play. It was open really wide, very yeah, enticing. You just knew he was going to fall to the ground <laughs> and take it away on him. So 7.20 left in the first period. It's going to be Mason Gosling try to win this faceoff draw here after the scoring opportunity by Nathan Brownlee. Gosling comes up with it. He's looking back to the point. He's going to push that back down low. Brownlee and Gosling battle for it. And here comes Brownlee. He's going to just take the puck away, say this is my puck. Backside to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick trying to push it towards the middle of the ice. It's swatted into the corner by the Peace River Royals. Bounces over the stick of um, Brownlee. Uh, Arbery keeps that puck in at the blue line and Dick will push it further down in the corner. First to the puck will be Nathan Brownlee and a little bit of hug and tug there with the stick for the hook. Doesn't get called as the official was right there and felt that uh, they were equally to blame on that. I guess Gosling battles for it. Peace River is swarming around the puck. Schwantz keeps it in at the blue line. He's going to push that down. Lang gets taken hard to the boards. And puck's going to roll free and dumped out through the middle. And now back to the puck will be Arbery. So Arbery's going to look up ice. He's going to put that all the way up to Schwantz. Schwantz comes to the middle to Lee. And London has it now at the blue line. London now looks on net. He's going to bury it into the shin pads of the Peace River defender. Puck's going to blow into the corner. And now Peace River's going to control. They're looking up ice. They get it towards the boards. Keeping it in will be no Arbery. Stick handles it and loses possession of it. And that's off the boards. It's going to bounce past Lee. Lang's going to go apply some pressure. And it's Peace River at their own blue line. They're going to lose it. London keeps it in for a moment, but it hits a stick. And stepping up on the loose puck is Caden Arbery. Arbery's going to dump that to the Peace River Royals defender. Lang can't keep it in, but it bounces off of somebody. And now that's uh, Chase London down in the corner. It's going to roll past him. Kurt Lee now down to the puck. And Chase London rolls it back up to the hash marks. Intercepted by the... Uh, Peace River Royals, Lang will keep that in at the blue line. He goes softly to the backside to Lee. It's intercepted by the Peace River Royals, carrying it in on uh, Ross. Ross kicks at it. Centering pass is intercepted now by Duncan Ross. Duncan Ross is going to push that up to Marcus Rule. Gets that over to Brownlee. Brownlee has the puck taken away from him. He can't get a play on net as a two-on-one was ensuing. Peace River in transition comes back the other way. They're going to get it, oh, just about through the seam there as Hebert gambles and bats the puck out of the air as opposed to taking the player. And Hebert now loses the puck in his skates. He's going to get the rebound or the loose puck and put it towards the goal. And Peace River now controls from their own goal line. They come up the near side. Lowen can't keep it in on side. And so the trackers will have to uh, tag up. Rule looks the board, the player to the boards. Puck's going to be bounced in. Olsen will play it out to Lowen, Lowen has pressure on him right away. Down to the puck comes Hebert. Peace River is going to take possession of it. It's off the back of the net. Peace River trying to get it towards the front. And here's Justin Brownlee. He falls to the ice but gets it out. And Marcus Rule takes his player to the boards as the two bodies collide. This one will be dumped in. Olsen out of his net slows it up. He'll play it away from the dump in. It's going to be kept in at the blue line. And Brown takes his man hard into the boards to make him pay for pinching in at the blue line. And this one's chipped up, and it's going to bounce to Brown now. Brown's got some wheels on him. He's going to start moving in. 
Oh, he tries to get the shot away, and he gets the shot blocked by the Peace River Royals player. Zach Ryan now plays that puck back to the near side, and it's intercepted by Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee on the blue line is going to chip that to <laughs> Brown, who dives and swats it out of the wrong zone. Don't think that's what he had drawn up there, Mr. No, Yens. I do not think so either. Peace River off the board is going to play that over to Kyle Schwantz. Schwantz plays that into the Peace River zone. Peace River slowly collects it off the shoulders of Brownlee, and this one will come outside. So with 3.30 left in the first period is the Royals who have found the back of the four by six and not your NEBC and UConn trackers who are still looking like they're on vacation a little they're bit. They're on, on vacation still. Face off one by Gosling over to Ross. Ross is gonna carry this one in. Ross shoots on net. Right pillow down, rebound. Dick can't get there in time. And Moody tries to keep it in at the blue line. Unsuccessfully, puck comes to the neutral zone. That one's dumped in, icing's waved off. Olsen plays it back around the boards to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick's gonna sauce it softly into the middle of the ice. It's off the skates of Gosling. And puck's gonna bounce over the stick of Brownlee. And Peace River in the neutral zone. They're gonna go cross ice. Moody's gonna have pressure on him. He comes up through the middle and he hits the scene perfectly and it goes for icing. And so that puck will come all the way back down into your NEBC and Yukon tracker zone. They're gonna line this one up to the left of the goaltender, Dakota Olson. Kurt Lee out, take the faceoff draw, puck's gonna bounce, and he's gonna shield the puck away from the players. Here's Moody now, he's gonna skate up through the middle, and he's got some time, he's gonna move up, shot on net, rebound, and trackers can't get to it as it's sat by the open cage, and that'll be Chase London who's back for uh, Moody. And Peace River will dump that one in below the goal line. Going towards the puck is Ross. Ross takes his man out. Kurt Lee's hooked from behind. He puts on the brakes to come back. S centering pass towards the front of the net. It's blocked. Shot comes. And it hits somebody out front. Loose puck backside. Olsen sliding all over trying to block the puck from the back of the net. And Tracker's trying to get out of the period without getting scored on. And here's Lee pulls it out right through the middle. He moves that all the way up to London. London plays it back to Lee over to Lang. Lang's gonna have the puck in the middle. Misses the check, it's in behind the player. Back to Lang, Lang shot, pad save. And London goes to the loose puck. Peace River clears over. Lang takes his man out. And the Royals get that out of the zone. And so Lowen back to the puck. He's gonna look up ice. He puts it off the boards to Gosling who gets it to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick comes cross ice over to Nathan Brownlee and Peace River tries to flip it out, unsuccessfully rolls over to Nathan Brownlee to the middle of the ice. Oh, he buries it off the boards. Wraparounds blocked by the goaltender. And so with a minute 34 left in the period, trackers get a couple of shots on net or towards the net. I don't even know if you could say they were on net. Uh, towards net. Nope. Didn't hit the net. Didn't even hit the post. Might have to cite that, cite that in during the intermission on the, on the stick there, get those pucks into the goal, not away from the goal. Thomas Lowen battles in the neutral zone. Puck's gonna roll to Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee has the puck. He'll carry it over and dump it in softly. He's gonna use his strength and try to push his way through. Peace River now comes back cross ice. That one's out of the reach of uh, Thomas Lowen. Icing is waved off. He's gonna have pressure on him. He puts it up along the boards and it's gonna make it to the neutral zone. That'll be dumped back in. Olsen's gonna turn it over, uh, direct the puck over to Thomas Lowen who comes back to Vienz who goes back to Thomas Lowen. Lowen off the boards and kept in at the blue line. Mason Gosling will carry it out now. He's one on four. He's being hooked and pulled that, and he's able to get his stick down. We're into the last minute of play now. And so Peace River plays it up through the middle of the zone. Peace River now covering the blue line, trying to pull it through the skates of Schwantz. Olsen tries to play it but misses it. Goes below the goal line, still in the corner. Kane Arbor, he's going to battle for it. Down to the puck comes Shaden Hebert. Centering pass going to be cleared back towards the boards by Schwantz. And Schwantz is going to have pressure from the backside. And Schwantz now stick handles and twists and turns in front of his net. And 22 seconds left in the period. Puck's going to come up to Rule. Rule's going to chip that one pass. Skating towards the puck will be Justin Brownlee. He has Hebert. Pucks to the middle of the ice. Marcus Rule's going to skate into it. Shoots right into the middle of the goaltender as he looks behind him looking for the puck. But he had it caught up in his glove in the, his chest protector. So with 10.9 seconds left, pull the goalie now, Mr. Vienz. Not yet. Face off coming to the right of the goaltender. 
of the Peace River Royals. Kurt Lee is going to take the faceoff draw. Lang has the puck back to Brownlee. Brownlee's going to try to put it towards the net. He can't connect. And that one hits the rafter. And so they may have four seconds to try it all over Shit. again. Looked like they were trying to be sneaky there, Mr. Viennes. She couldn't quite pull the trigger, though. Peace River trying to make a late change. And he's going to get thrown out. He can't go play center after that. And faceoff's going to be one towards the boards. And Lee and Moody look at each other. And the buzzer will go. And so after 20 minutes of play, one to nothing is the score. And then BC and Yukon trackers will have some soul searching to try to figure out that they can't just turn it on and off as they please. That and so they're the trailing one after 20 minutes. And we'll be back after the Zamboni cleans the sheet of ice. So thanks for joining us here. And join us for a second period action. Thanks a lot.
And welcome back, sports fans, for second period action. We're here. NEBC and UConn trackers are looking to get back on even grounds as they trail one to nothing after 20 minutes. Kurt Lee, Noah Lang, Brandon Moody, and Duncan Ross will be out there, and the trackers will need one more player. And Nathan Brownlee will jump the bench as doesn't look like Chase London's quite ready to go. And pucks in behind Lee. Lang tried to push it through, was unsuccessful. He's going to tip that one towards the blue line. And it's going to come back towards the middle, out of the reach of Nathan Brownlee. Noah Lang now is going to move his, make his way down into the corner. He's going to pull the puck off into the corner. And he gets it from Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee shoots right into the middle of the goaltender. Lang can't get the rebound. Nathan Brownlee goes, battles for it on the corner. He's going to push it towards the middle of the ice. It's going to come back to Ross. Ross plays that back down to Lee. Lee has it in his skates. He has two Peace River players on him. And Peace River looking to move that puck up. And it's going to be flipped through the middle. And back to the puck will be Duncan Ross. Icing is waved off as I guess the trackers should have been able to play that one over their heads. And that puck's put up towards the blue line slowly. Lang gets it over to Lee, over to Brownlee. Brownlee carries it over the blue line. Brownlee with a shot into the middle of the goaltender. Goaltender bobbles it, gets his glove back on and get a stoppage of play. And so trackers will change things up. Raymond Dick will be out with Marcus Rule and Mason Gosling. Puck comes back, shot by Lowen. Oh, that one just doesn't miss by much as it deflects and hits the glass up behind the goaltender. Puck's at the top of the circles and Rule can't get it. And Peace River tries to flip it out. Jumping in from the point is Vianz. It rolls over to Dick and kept in at the blue line by Gosling. He's softly into the corner, wraps it around the boards and it's gonna be intercepted by Rule. He puts it back the other way and Peace River will get to it first. Over to the puck is Gosling and Rule. And Gosling trying to pull it out from the corner. He has a stick tied up. He's going to push it back into the corner. Centering pass onto the backhand of Rule. Rule's going to put it in front. Oh, that oh, one just goes that. out the far side. And Raymond Dick couldn't tap it in from the back. That puck is blocked at the point. The flex towards the sideboards. Peace River now is going to get it out. Peace River dumps that in. Rule takes his man out from the back. Olsen has it in the corner. He's going to put it up for Lowen to run towards us off the boards on the cross ice pass. It's going to be intercepted in the neutral zone by Raymond Dick. He puts that back to Thomas Lone, who's off the boards up to Mason Gosling. He tries to chip that in, but he doesn't get it far enough. Gosling uses his head and uh, heads it down into his pants, I guess. And we get a stoppage of play. Not sure why this one's not outside as it went uh, off of Gosling's head into his own pants, but can't argue we'll, with a good call. We'll take it. We'll take it. Lee out to take the faceoff draw. Here comes Connor Brown into the corner. He whacks at the puck. Peace River puts it behind their goal. They get it all the way out. It bounces over a couple of sticks. Caden Arbery to the puck, puts it off the boards, back into the neutral zone. And this will be Brown who puts it over to uh, Zach Ryan in number 25. Puck's cleared out of the zone. Arbery has it bounce off his stick. Peace River will have a moment to make their way out into the neutral zone. They get to the red line, dump that in. Dakota Olson can't get to it. And this puck's put back towards the net. And Olsen can't get over. And off the save by Olsen, the puck bounces right to an open Peace River player. And Peace River gets a lucky bounce to make it two to nothing. So it all starts with the misplay on the dump in. Olsen yep. doesn't get back to his net quick enough. He misplays the shot on net right onto the stick of a Peace River Royal player. And it'll be your NEBC and Yukon trackers who are going to be chasing it now. Uh, digging themselves a hole. Well, you got to score to win, so they've got to break the donut here. That's so Moody exactly with the true. puck plays that up over to Rule. Rule takes it towards the middle of the ice. And Rule centering it just out of the reach of Brownlee. And Moody now will take his men into the boards. And Ross reaches in. He's got, got to be careful he doesn't get a hooking call. And puck goes back up towards the near side. Kept in. It's going to be kept in or shot out by Hebert, who gets that over to Justin Brownlee. Hebert now leaves it for Brownlee. Brownlee comes back to Moody. Moody looking up ice. Peace River uh, forcing the dump in. It's going to bounce into the corner. Coming to the puck will be Rule. It's going to sit there. Hebert has it goes off a shin pad. Peace River will clear it. And Lowen tries to bat it over the air. Brownlee now carries it in. 
He's going to shoot. Has the whole glove hand side open to shoot at. Bucks deflected. Lowen takes his man out at the blue line. And Peace River now is going to play that and get it into the neutral zone. Lowen will shoot that one back in. It bounces off the back wall. Peace River Netminer stops it up. Lee's going to chase it. And it's going to come towards the boards. Brown now, or sorry, uh, Brown Lee puts that back into the corner. London takes his man hard into the boards. Kept in. Bien shot. Deflects. And pucks in behind the goal. London gets it to Lee to the front of the net. It's deflected. Lang can't get a stick on it. Peace River is going to take it. And Vianne steps his guy up at the blue line, and this one should be icing as it crosses the goal line. So 18.03 left in the second period, and we're still waiting for a tracker's goal mm. as the Royals are leading the trackers 2 to nothing. Yep. Off haven't a first period marker and an early marker here in the second period. Haven't capitalized on the opportunities they have had. So shots on goal after 20 minutes look like they were about 14 to 8. Puck's going to roll towards the middle of the ice. Moody slowly to it. He does get there, though. He's going to put that back up to the blue line. Lee's going to take his man out. Puck bounces to Lang. Lang looks across the ice. He puts it just through the stick of London. Oh, no, and this one is going to be off or icing, I guess. I Offside the icing. Offside the icing. Face off coming to the left of the goaltender, Dakota Olsen. And he's just gonna have to be solid now going forward, give his team a chance. Puck pushed towards the front of the net and it's gonna deflect and Gosling's gonna battle for it in the circle. He has the puck stripped off him. It's off the side of the net, still from behind the net. Peace River control centering it. And that one deflects off Moody back below the goal line. And it's gonna come towards the middle. Moody will pick that up. He starts skating. He's gonna put it off the boards to Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee is gonna put that puck just off the stick of Raymond Dick. Peace River will clear that. This one will come down the length of the ice and Moody will can't sell the icing as he's skating way too fast. And Moody puts it off the boards towards Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick goes cross ice over to Brownlee. It's gonna bounce for Gosling. Stepping up on the puck will be Ross. Ross is gonna move in. Shot, it's gonna deflect off the Peace River defender stick. And escalate out of play and we get a stoppage here with 15 minutes left peace river just has all the answers right now taking away the shooting lanes get sticks in the way lee wins that back to arbery arbery fans on the shot he'll get the second chance to put it back down low Peace River controls, it rolls off their stick. Zach Ryan to the puck, puts it high and over Kurt Lee's head, so Peace River will control on the near side. Peace River tries to center, it's gonna kept in by Ryan. Ryan over to Lee, Lee one hands the stick, puts it back to Schwantz, shot on net off the glove of the goaltender. Peace River now controlling, they'll move it towards the middle. Arbery looking for the puck, and it's gonna get swatted past him. He'll go battle for it down in the corner. He's got two players on him, and he gets that over to Brown. Brown now against the boards, he tries to center it and unable to do so successfully. Pucks turn back down into the zone. Kurt Lee now is gonna sauce this over to Ryan. Shot comes. That one deflects off the Peace River player and wide and out. And so it was a good clearing attempt by the Peace River Royals. Royals control, flip it back towards their bench as they change a couple players up. Pucks along the blue line and they're gonna call it offside. That's why so we didn't turn the camera. So you can't see if you don't turn the camera That's in right. the right spot, so. That is what we will do. Try, we'll try. Hebert now in to take the face off draw. Puck rolls to Justin Brownlee. Puck's gonna be off the skates of the Peace River player. And that's low and up to uh, Rule. Rule now from the, is off wing, takes a shot on net and it goes wide. Peace River flips that up and over into the neutral zone. Vianz plays it down to his stick. And that'll be Hebert who plays it back to Lowen. Lowen now back at the bottom of the circle. He twists and turns away from pressure. He's going to slowly put that one up through the middle of the ice, and that's going to be chipped by Rule. Puck's going to bounce, and glove pass now played by Peace River. And so Puck's going to bounce back to Hebert. Hebert's going to put that back to Vianz. Vianz is going to skate down to the bottom of the circle, kicks it too far away from his stick. Peace River puts that to the blue line, put back down by Brownlee. He deflects in front. Goaltender steers it aside calmly. Hebert puts it back to Lowen. Lowen will put that back down to Hebert. It's going to wrap around the boards. And going to the puck will be Justin Brownlee. They sometimes call that interference mm -hmm. when you don't touch the puck, but not, not so far today. Lowen now has it in his zone. He plays it off the boards. Hebert looking to line his men up. Peace River puts that back in. And I see, or offside is waved off. 
Sloan wraps it around the boards and coming back to it will be Brownlee. He chips it and it's going to come back down to the tracker's blue line for Lowen. Lowen puts that off the glass and that'll just go for an icing as it clears everybody. And so with 12.44 left, faceoff coming down into your NEBC and Yukon tracker's defensive zone to the left of the goaltender, Dakota Olson. Face off one by Curtis Lee, back down to Arbery. Arbery puts it over to Schwantz. Schwantz now from the corner, sidesteps the check. He's got pressure on him. He loses his footing, he gets back up. And the Peace River player drives the front of the net. Olsen poke checks him as Schwantz takes the pass away. Schwantz will get the puck back onto his stick. He plays that up to London. London comes cross ice out of the reach of Lee. And that one will come back to the neutral zone. Chase London now with the puck goes back over to Kyle Schwantz. Lang chips that one in, and out of his net will be the Peace River netminder. He tries to play the puck. He fans on it, but his defenseman helps him out. Pucks along the boards just past Lang. Here comes London. He tries to uh, hit his man off the puck. He does so successfully. Lang drives the bottom of the net, puts it off the goaltender, and Lee can't get to the rebound. Puck still behind the goal, and London will battle for it. Oh. He has just whacked the stick out of the Peace River player's hands, and that will be slashing against it 22, will. Chase London. And London's probably tell him to hold on to a stick. Something like that. So easy call when you hear that whack of the stick. And the stick goes flying. So 11.45-49 left in the period and it's gonna come to the right of Dakota Olsen and they'll need to stop here on the power play or the penalty kill. Shot's gonna deflect, come out the near side. Nathan Brownlee can't get it out. Peace River controls. He tries to strip the puck carrier of the puck. And puck's gonna come all the way to the point. Brownlee gets in the way, backhand to the middle. Oh, Olsen with a good save as he was right in the middle of the net and that's where the puck went. Hit him right in the poppy, I think. Uh, I think so too. And Peace River netminder sets it up. Peace River from behind their goal. They're gonna move it to the far side. They can't handle it. Ross will shoot that back in on net. Goaltender will make an easy save. Goaltender decides to play it up. And this is at the tracker's blue line. Ross decides to take his man off the puck. Centering it into the middle of the ice. Puck will bounce to Gosling. Gosling's gonna have to give a second ever. Now here goes Ross. He's gonna go for a skate. Will he or will he not play the goalie? <laughs> Goaltender plays it up. Offside. And call that a two-line pass. <laughs> uh, I don't think the officials are old enough to know what that is, Troy. No, I don't think so either. Well, maybe, but our viewers aren't either, probably. <laughs> oh, there might be the odd one. So it's just an offside as Peace River was changing some players. And they have a group hug and decide and say, oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe we'll just have the face off here. Raymond Dick take the faceoff draw. Puck's going to be pushed to the far side. Connor Brown's going to try to get in front of the Peace River player. Peace River comes D to D along the blue line, back up to the tracker's blue line. They come in slowly. They get that past Thomas Lowen switching now, or Viennes and Lowen. And Viennes gets a stick on the player. He hooks his stick up, and he battles for it along the boards. Peace River now controls, and Lowen goes to the puck carrier. Puck's still below the goal line. Lowen now going to come out to it, and Lowen's going to apply some pressure. He'll take the puck away. He has it in his skates, and Peace River pushes at it. Lowen now is going to battle. He pushes it back into the corner again, and Peace River pushes it away from Lowen. Now they're going to play keep away, and coming to the puck is Raymond Dick. Lowen waiting for it to pop free. It's going to bounce to the point. Brown trying to push it free. Here comes Raymond Dick now. Raymond pulls it to the middle over to Connor Brown. Connor Brown loses the handle. Peace River will turn back in transition. And now they're going to move it up. Raymond Dick reaches back. He gets it to the blue line and out. A good effort by Raymond Dick. Connor Brown searching for the loose puck. Seven seconds left. Peace River controlling back to the middle of the ice. And they clear the zone. And so the penalty is going to expire. Penalized person Chase London will come out onto the ice. He'll go directly to the bench. And now... Back to five on five hockey. Thomas Lowen will dump that cross ice in. It's intercepted by the Peace River defender. He puts that all the way up through the neutral zone working on Moody. He pulls back and delays centering pass. And that one's down below the goal line. 
And Peace River to the front of the net. Oh, they missed the far post, not by much. And a little delayed save by Ole, the goalie. Pucks into the skates of Lowen. This one's going to be chipped up uh, by Hebert. Skating for the puck will be Brownlee. Brownlee's trying to take his man into the boards. He does so. Puck rolls below the goal line to the other defender. Comes back the near side to the loose puck now is Hebert. Hebert controls at the top of the circle. He puts that down to Ross. Ross on net. That deflects wide and out to the near side. Justin Brownlee puts it up to Moody. Moody's going to put that back down low. And it'll be Hebert who battles and takes it away from the Peace River puck handler. Puck comes back up the boards. It's going to go cross ice and Rule can't keep that in. That'll be Ross flipping that towards the de defender and he plays that to a stick. Slowly out of the zone, they come out the near side. Peace River now is gonna sauce it over to the near side, searching for the puck as rule. Puck's gonna be kept in at the blue line mm. and looking up ice is Moody. Moody puts it into the neutral zone, coming back to it is Brownlee and Rule. They don't talk to one another, so they both swat at it. Peace River now takes possession of it and Ross kicks that back in and Justin Brownlee thinks about playing it, but he doesn't because he would have been offside. Puck's going to come to Moody. Moody's going to step up on the loose puck. Rule has to hurry up and get off the ice, and he does not. And so icing or offside is the call. And uh, better just keep that gate shut, I think, and jump oh. the boards. Yep. So we're going to just line this one outside the tracker's player's bench. Puck rolls towards the boards, and London will have his pocket stripped. Schwantz reaches up for it, and it's going to be Arbery. He's going to have to get back to the puck. He's going to have pressure on him. He takes his man to the boards. Peace River defender behind there has it pushed away by Schwantz. Schwantz puts it up the boards. Lang twists back. He's trying to stay away from pressure. He's going to have two people on him. He goes behind his own net. He stops up. He's going to come back this way and come to Schwantz. Schwantz puts it up to Lee. Lee looking up ice, going to slowly get it up to London. London has it poked away from him. And now London below the goal line controls. London now trying to play that back down to Lee. Lee goes back to London. London flips it towards the net. London still behind the goal, still has it. And he leaves it for Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee goes towards the corner. And he puts it in front of the net. And it's off the stick of London. And that's Arbery now back to London, back to Arbery. Arbery going to go towards the net and go wide. Stepping to the words of puck will be Schwantz. Schwantz plays that back down to Lang. Lang plays it behind the net. He gets taken out on the spin. And stepping up is Arbery. Arbery now going to put that back down towards Lee. Lee has Lang backside. Oh, he can't oh, capitalize as he's man. taken down. As the Peace River netminder gets the pad down. So no easy ones today. 6.54 left in the... Uh, second period and probably the best scoring chance of the game for the uh, Trackers. It certainly was. Nathan Brownlee's going to twist and turn, take it towards the net, on net, and Mason Gosling can't get a stick to it before the attendee gets his glove on it, and they'll do it all over again from the same spot. Puck's going to go into the equipment of Nathan Brownlee. He can't control it. Peace River put that down the length of the ice. Dakota also won't let it go, and icing will be the call. So they'll come back for the third time in a row, do it all again from the same spot. Mason Gosling take the faceoff draw. He's going to roll that one up to the blue line. Viennes can't keep it in. He'll dump it in. Trackers will have to tag up. That's put all the way on net. Dakota Olsen just stops it into the corner. Puck's going to roll to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick sidesteps the check. He still has possession of it temporarily. Stick handling it. Gets it through the neutral zone. He's carrying it across the blue line. Gosling's going to have to reach back for it. He's able to get that down to uh, Gosling oh. or to, to Raymond Dick, who centers it just out of the reach of Nathan Brownlee. And Vienz was jumping in from the point and went right from the position he vacated from. And a nice little slash by the Peace River Royals to knock it free off the stick of Lowen. And Peace River now gets taken to the boards. Oh, and Vianz oh. is going to get a penalty for jumping over the stick. And so that another power play for the Peace River Royals. That was weak. And I think we're back to the old saying that the home team's got to take five penalties before uh, they get a power play of their own there, Troy.
So 5.56 left in the period, and the trackers are going to have to be strong here and kill off this two-minute infraction to the ends. Face off one, middle of the ice, shot to the back of the net. As nobody wanted to get in front of that one, so it's three to nothing for the Peace River Royals. And some head scratching going to be going on here, Troy. And NEBC and Yukon trackers haven't been in this position at all this no, year. Not at all. So they just need to get something started by the end of the period, something to build on. And Rule's going to play that puck over to Schwantz. Schwantz is going to have it stripped off him. Hebert's going to get it, put it over to Arbery. Arbery gets it up ice to Justin Brownlee. Brownlee's going to soft ice, dump that slowly to the puck. Will go Kyle Schwantz and Hebert. Puck's going to roll past uh, Rule. And slap shot comes. That one's off the toe of the right pad of the goaltender. Put back down low by Arbery. And Peace River will control again. Peace River puts it up to the top of the circles. Hebert falls down. Puck gets out of the zone. Justin Brownlee will softly put that in, but it's not out of the reach of the Peace River Royals. They're going to clear that out. Comes to the middle of the ice. Schwantz stops it up for the Peace River player. He gets around Arbery. Olsen with a blocker save. Schwantz now going to put it to the middle of the ice to Justin Brownlee. Justin Brownlee working one on two. Justin Brownlee work, trying to pull it through the skates of the defender. Is unable to do so. Brownlee puts it up. Tries to put it up to Arbery, but hits the official skates in the Peace River Royals control. And this puck's going to roll over to Thomas Lowen. Lowen gets the puck behind his net. He'll put that back to the near side. Coming down to the puck will be Justin Brownlee. Brownlee puts that up. Marcus Rule can't find it. And that'll be Arbery who gets the puck back again. That one's off the skates of Marcus Rule. And this one's swatted forward. And that's out of the reach of Kurt Lee. Peace River misplays. They're back into their own zone with it again. And London now trying to get to the puck. Lang knocks it out of the air, bounces to Lee. Lee puts it towards the net, bouncing puck. And Lee and Lang can't bang it in. And puck's down low. It's going to roll towards the front of the net. And we're going to have a head contact penalty to Peace River. So Peace River's got two power play goals. So uh, it's the NEBC and UConn trackers are going to have to cash in on this they opportunity. They really need to. I get something going. Lackluster. Lackluster so far. And Lang tries to push it up to London. And Ross is able to keep that in. It's going to come down low to Lang in the below the corner. Lee gives it back to Lang. Lang's going to push that back up to Lee. Lee now has London in the middle. London to the net. He's going to miss. He's going to bury it around the corner and Ross was pinching down low, and now they're offside, so Peace River just going to kill some time. That's off the glove of Lang, and it bounces down to Moody. Moody has it at the top of his own circles in his own zone. He's going to push that over to Lee. Lee will get that up to London. London will cross the blue line. He puts it back to Lee. Lee now controls. He's got Moody backside. It's into the skates of Lang. Lang's going to center it. Lee's reaching for it, and it's back off the boards, and... Ross has it bounce over his, his skate. Here comes Ross. He's going to skate it up through the middle. <laughs> and he it's does so one fun, last move at the blue line, and that'll be the end of the first unit's attempt at the power play. So 103 left in the man advantage. Trackers down three as they give up two second period goals. Pucks won by Gosling back to Lowen. Lowen plays that up to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick controls at the blue line. He's going to skate to the far side. He'll take that in under control. He gives it back to Thomas Lowen. Lowen moves to the middle of the ice. That's going to deflect in over the net. To the puck will be Raymond Dick. Pinching down will be Viennes. Viennes gets taken off the puck. Lowen will come to it. Shot on net. Misses. He's going to roll around the boards. Nathan Brownlee's going to have to quickly get over. And he controls at the blue line. He comes cross ice all the way over to Viennes. Viennes is going to put it to the middle. Slap shot to the goalie's glove. Rebound. And the oh, goaltender yeah, no doesn't know idea. where it is, but it's underneath his glove on the ice. And so at least got a shot on net on, the, mm -hmm. on that attempt.
Gosling wins it back. Dick helps the puck back to Viennes. Dick gets the puck in return. Viennes now goes to the top of the circle. He's looking towards the middle of the ice. Aaron pass, pass low, and Lowen's going to have to skate towards the puck. Olsen's going to come towards it. Oh, the Peace River player just pokes it past him. And no interference call, surprisingly, there. And as Lowen was riding the Peace River player out. Brownlee's going to put that over to Gosling. Penalty's going to expire. And puck's batted out of the air by Thomas Lowen. We're back to five on five hockey. Puck just rolls away from Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick intercepts the clearing attempt. It's at the blue line. Raymond Dick will get a hold of it. He puts one on net. Netminder squeezes the letter on and gets a stoppage of play with two minutes left in the second period. Not a lot to cheer about here so far, Troy. Not, Not if you're a fan of the NEBC and Yukon trackers. And pucks below the goal line. Peace River is going to control. They push it up uh, the wall. Peace River player can't pull the puck up quick enough. He hears footsteps and just throws it in best he can and gets out of the way. Moody now is going to play that up. Hebert pushes it down with the glove. And puck's going to come over to Ross. Ross is going to put that off the glass past Rule. And Peace River is now back in their own zone going D to D. Pressuring the puck and getting it out towards the Peace River defender. And here comes Peace River, two on two. And it's blocked by Moody. And Hebert's seeking the puck. Can't get it. Brown comes down, takes the Peace River player to the boards. Ross now is taken off the puck. It's going to roll up to Rule. And Rule plays that puck. It's going to bounce to the point man. Peace River controls, brings it off the board. Shot towards the net. Hits the North Peace Savings Credit Union sign in behind the goaltender, Olsen. And Peace River now controlling down in the tracker zone. We're into the last minute of play in the second period. And puck's going to wrap around the boards. Here comes Marcus Rule. He gets it to the point, but not out. Ross takes his man out high. And trackers will go for a change. Peace River looking to stretch the ice out. They were a little bit too slow. This one's going to come all the way back to Moody. Moody looking up ice. Gives it to Ross. Ross comes cross ice to Noah Lang. Lang has the puck roll off the heel of his stick. Three on two. Slap shot into the glove of Olsen as he reaches up and picks it out of the air. And if he can look it all the way into his glove like that, folks, you might as well have just picked it up and put it there. So 32.5 seconds left. Curtis Lee is going to win that faceoff draw back to Kyle Schwantz. Schwantz now can't get it to his stick. He puts that up on the glass. Lang gets taken into the boards. Peace River keeps it at the blue line. That's off the stick of Schwantz. And Dakota Olsen plays it with the backhand of his stick and gets a glove on it. Looked like maybe he wanted to play that puck. Yeah, I thought maybe he was going to that time. And thought twice about it. Kurt Lee take the faceoff draw. It's going to bounce into the skates of the players. That'll be Thomas Lowen. And Lowen will put that up to L London. London looking through the middle of the ice. He comes cross ice to Lang. Lang's going to carry it the blue line. Slap shot off the stick of the Peace River defender. And so there'll be an offensive zone faceoff with 8.4 seconds left. So time for a face-off play. Pull the goalie now, I would. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite yet. London's going to go pressure the puck. Five seconds left. Puck's going to come out. That's Ross. High shot. Rebound's going to be chipped over the net. And Ross was none too low on that shot as he hit the goalie, I think, right by where the face mask meets the neck. <laughs> And so after 40 uh, minutes, it's your it's the Peace River Royals with a three nothing lead, commanding uh, some respect to NEBC and Yukon Trackers who still haven't quite figured out that they're not winning the hockey game yet. I think they definitely are not skating like they realize it. All right, so we'll be back in about 15 minutes, to bring you third period action here from the North Peace Arena. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, folks.
And welcome back, sports fans, to the North Peace Arena, where it's your NEBC and UConn trackers who trail three to nothing after 40 minutes. Puck controlled by the trackers off the faceoff draw. Puck's going to come over to Duncan Ross. He plays that up ice to Nathan Brownlee. Brownlee tries to pull the puck towards the middle of the ice, and Brownlee and Ross bump into one another. That's off a skate of Peace River, and it's going to go all the way down. Why? And they're going to say icing. Even though it went off of them? No. Seems like well. a wrong call, but at this point in time, trackers will take anything. Puck's down in the corner. Battle for it will be Nathan Brownlee. Mason Gosling tries to push that over to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick has it poked away from him. Peace River put it off the boards. Moody will play that back down around the boards, and it'll be Brownlee who collects a uh, loose puck. And it's going to come to Mason Gosling. Gosling tries to pull that puck back to Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee's pressured, and the net is mysteriously out of place oh, as man. the trackers were at the top of the circles winding up to shoot the puck. Hmm. Did they even put the Zamboni plugs in or, or not? Nah. So they'll line it back up to the left of the goaltender who has the shutout at this point. Trackers are trying to crack the egg. <laughs> and Viennes now puts one on net, deflects, and centering Lang to London, and this one's going to be deflected wide. Lang gets taken into the boards, and he kicks that puck free to London. London has it from behind the net. He's looking to center. He's going to put that back into the corner, but Peace River is going to have two people on it. Pinching in from the blue line will be Lowen, and Lee can't keep it in. Peace River's offside, and the whistle will go. And so Tracker's looking to... The end ices the puck. He mustn't have heard the whistle and wanted a change. I'm not sure. <laughs> he gets a tongue lashing from the official. So next time you're going to go to the penalty box for unsportsmanlike, I'm sure. Maybe, eh? Puck pushes forward. Lang's going to go apply some pressure. Peace River's going to play it back into the neutral zone. And it's in the skates of the players. And Peace River will dump that back in. Also note of his net, he'll leave it for Schwantz. Schwantz puts it back around the boards towards Lang. Lang's going to kick it to his skates. He puts that off the boards. It's off the glove of the Peace River player. That's a glove pass. Mm -hmm. And faceoff coming at the blue line of the Peace River Royals, I do believe. And so they'll line it up at Whoops. the Peace, Peace River blue line. Hebert in to take the faceoff draw. Puck's going to sit on the blue line. Peace River is going to chip that towards Kyle Schwantz. Schwantz will collect it at his own blue line. He goes D to D over to Kane Arbery. Arbery up. Over the stick of Justin Brownlee. And like the first 40 minutes, that puck will come all the way back down into mm. the tracker zone as they cannot connect. As they still have not figured out how to knock that last piece of rust oh, off. Oh, man. Puck's back into the corner. Kane Arbery's going to wrap it around the boards past Kyle Schwantz. It's down by the hash marks where Rule plays it down. Comes back to Rule. He's going to put it out of the zone. And Peace River play it back down into the far corner. Olsen out of his net, stops it up for Arbery. Arbery puts it around the boards. It's going to be kept in at the blue line. Shot comes, deflected by, or blocked by Hebert. Skating into the puck will be Rule. Rule put back to Hebert. Hebert buries it past the goaltender into the back. Puck bounces up high. Oh. Goaltender reaches up. Loose puck. It's rolling there. Brownlee can't oh, get past, can't on? get the ping pong ball back into the net. Puck's down below the goal line. Hebert now trying to get there. Peace River player trips, and Hebert has the puck down low. He gets it taken away. This one's going to be slapped down the length of the ice, and as it crosses the goal line, they relieve a little bit of tense moments there in front of the goaltender mm -hmm. as it ricochets here and there just like an old ping ball, uh, pinball machine. Yeah. That's not a ping ball machine there, Not Troy. a ping ball machine. Uh, Lee wins that one straight back, and Moody can't keep it in. And Peace River goes cross ice. They're going to come up through the middle, working on Moody's side. Three on two, back to the near side. Shot, going to just miss wide and wrap around the boards to the point. Kept in, shot on net, and shot towards the goal. Olsen makes the save, and Ross puts that to the blue line, but not out. It's going to come back to Ross. Ross looks cross ice just 
It was almost out of the reach of Zach Ryan. Zach Ryan with a good effort gets that forward. Brown reaches for the puck and he's going to apply some pressure to the Peace River player. Puck's going to bounce and Peace River still able to clear it. Peace River now dump that in. Olsen will get out of his net to stop it up. He leaves it for Viennes. Viennes from behind his own net looks up ice. Puts it on the stick of Connor Brown. Comes back to the middle of the ice to uh, Thomas Lowen. Thomas Lowen going for a skate. Shot. Buries it in the glass behind the goaltender. The sound every goalie loves to hear. And back up along the boards. Peace River is going to get that. Viennes blocks it. But Peace River is going to come back two on one. And centering pass. Peace River player can't handle it. Raymond Dick will take his player out into the boards. Peace River still pushes the puck down below the goal line of the trackers. And Lowen... Uh, can't get to it. Peace River wraps it right around the boards again. Raymond Dick tries to play the puck up the boards, unable to clear it. And Mason Gosling now down in the corner, centering pass, and that's blocked by Nathan Brownlee as he comes to the puck uh, carrier. And Nathan Brownlee will come through the neutral zone. He's going to carry it in. He gets tripped up and no call. And pucks in the skates of Raymond Dick. Nathan Brownlee comes over to help him out. Peace River is going to win the battle, come out of the boards. And pucks in behind Schwantz. Back on back check is Gosling, and Caden Arbery will get to the puck. He falls and blows a tire. Centering pass is going to be blocked by Mason Gosling. Gosling now comes back the other way. He'll shoot that one and miss just wide of the goal, but hits the Mobile One Express sign on the corner boards. Mason Gosling reaches for it. Here comes Chase London, and he gets taken out, even though he didn't play the puck, sometimes called interference, but not this afternoon. London has to get back on side. He does so. Puck's played back to Arbery. Arbery's going to put it to the middle of the ice. It's intercepted by the Peace River player. London back. London takes his man out. Avoids taking a penalty somehow. And Arbery gets that puck up to Lang. Puck's going to bounce back to Arbery. Arbery comes cross ice over to London. London goes back over to Lang. Lang with speed. He's going to carry it over the blue line. He takes it towards the net to London. Puck's going to bounce to Lee. Lee can't get to the loose puck to get it on net. And... It's at the blue line, London battles, and Peace River clears. And now Thomas Lowen, Peace River is going to try to take it towards the net. And they do better than that. They put it over a diving Dakota Olsen, and it is 4 to nothing with 14.46 left in the period. So a whole lot of I don't want it. And the puck goes to the back of the goal. So no answers whatsoever, and Peace River gets an even strength goal. Whole lot of whack and hack. Might as well take the body Close. out. Yep. Pucks up high. Moody's going to push that up ice. It's in the neutral zone, collected by Hebert. And Duncan Ross going for a skate now. And so Peace River controls. Four guys back. They put that off the skates, up through the middle of the ice. One Peace River player up. And here comes Moody. He has possession of the puck. He's going to twist and turn, goes cross ice over to Ross. Ross puts that up through the middle of the ice. And now it's going to bounce back to Rule off the stick of Hebert. Hebert is going to shoot. Buries it in the glass behind the goaltender. And I don't think the coaches are enjoying time. that sound at this point in time, Troy. Uh, and Moody amazed. now with the puck. He's going to put this one towards the net. It's going to bounce off a of Peace River player. Two on one is going to ensue. Peace River looking to extend their lead. Moody gets back, swats the puck off the Peace River stick. So not even a shot on goal. Peace River still controls down in the corner. Peace River looks cross ice. It's blocked by Moody. And off a broken, broken play, Peace River gets another goal to make it five to nothing. And so... 1344. We might just be able to shut this broadcast down, Troy. Save some money. Wow. So they'll line it up at center ice because that's where you go when you get scored on. Learned that many Yet a time again. in rec league. Oh. And Peace River controlling. They're going to put that up ice. Here's uh, Kane Arbery over to Kyle Schwantz. Back through the middle of the ice. Kurt Lee was looking at the player skating towards him. Let the puck go. Puck's going to come back down to Caden Arbery in his own zone. He comes cross ice over to Schwantz. Schwantz tries to push that up to Connor Brown. Connor Brown takes a high stick to head, but that's okay. 
And Puck's going to go back down along the boards. Brown comes over to take his man against it. And Puck's going to roll down to Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee is going to try to avoid contact or maintain possession of the maintain puck. Maintain possession, yeah. Pretty hard to avoid the contact. Zach Ryan will go battle along the boards. And it's Peace River now controlling. They'll come out from behind their goal. They're going to flip that up past the stick of Kyle Schwantz. And icing will be blown down as the puck crosses the goal line as nobody skates very quickly in the direction, uh, direct path of the puck. So they're going to line this up to the left of the Peace River netminder. Puck's going to bounce on the faceoff draw, and that's put along the boards, and Peace River will come back, reverse the flow to the near side, and back to the puck now in the neutral zone is Mason Gosling. He comes all the way up ice. Raymond Dick chips that one in. And this one's off of Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee's going to push that puck into the corner, and Peace River is going to prevent the trackers from gaining possession. This one's flipped up in through the neutral zone and skating towards the puck is the Peace River player. Ross grabs a hold of him and spins him around, gets away with one. And Ross goes down to the ice. He pops back up. Raymond Dick now skating up through the neutral zone and him and Nathan Brownlee collide at the blue line and pretty much just sums up how this afternoon's yep. going. And that's off the stick of Thomas Lowen. He's going to have pressure on him. He puts it off the boards back to himself quickly, and he gets that to Nathan Brownlee, who goes cross ice with it. And this is Curtis Lee avoiding a check. He's being hooked from the back. He pulls his way up. Lang's going to take it to Brownlee. Oh, he can't connect on the one-timer in front. And here comes Peace River back the other way. Schwantz pushes the puck forward. That was deflect off his stick and out of play, and the whistle will go. And so 11.35, still more than half a period left in the third period uh, to go. Peace River Royals out to a commanding 5-0 lead and no responses out of any tracker so far. They haven't found the scent yet, I guess, Troy. Mm. Chase London to the puck, gets taken into the boards. He'll battle for it over will come Curtis Lee. Lee kicks, tries to kick that puck to his stick. He's intercepted. It's going to bounce off the corner. Lang will come back to it. Lang twists and turns, gives it back to Schwant. Schwant's going to twist and give it over to London. London makes his way up ice. He'll skate it towards the middle. He's going to shoot it. It's blocked by the defender. It's going to come to the blue line. Lang keeps that in. He puts that down to the hash marks. It comes back. And collected by London. London's going to look on net. Shot off the blocker. The goaltender, another shot towards the... Uh, net by Moody, that one goes wide. It's Lee now being pinched off the puck. It's going to be kept in by Moody. Moody shoots, that one's off the left toe of the goaltender. And Ross will jump up and try to keep that puck down low. Puck's going to bounce in behind Ross. Ross gets it off the tip of his stick again. Lang's going to push the puck towards the uh, boards and now collected by Duncan Ross in the neutral zone. Ross will dump that one in on net. Goaltender gets the paddle down. He'll push it over to his defenseman coming to the puck. Peace River starts making their way slowly up the other side, almost controlled by Justin Brownlee as he intercepts the cross-ice pass. And now Peace River controls. They come back out to the blue line, chip that into the neutral zone. Ross will chip that high and out of play as it hits a rafter or the ceiling and drops straight back down. So face-off coming just outside the blue line of the Peace River Royals who will have a quite a pleasant ride home there, Troy. Looking like it so far. And so it's the Royals now who collect the puck. They're going to skate it out of their zone. They're going to dump that in behind the defenseman. And that'll be Dakota Olson who has the puck in his skates. He rolls that around the boards to Justin Brownlee. Officials in the way. Brownlee can't clear. Hebert's going to take the puck up. He's got rule in the middle. And Hebert gets taken down. Brownlee with a slap shot has it blocked. And Hebert now on the backhand, directs it towards the goal. Hebert goes to try to run his man out. And this will be Justin Brownlee at the top of the circles. He puts it down into the far corner, going towards the puck will be Shane Hebert. Puck's taken away by the Royals. Justin Brownlee comes to it, but then cleared by Peace River. Peace River will change some of its personnel up as Caden Arbery slowly goes back towards the puck. He comes cross ice over to uh, Rule. It's intercepted by 
The Royals who put it off the official bounces in the neutral zone and now the trackers will turn back into the corner and wrap it around the boards. Peace River fans on it at the blue line and Connor Brown's gonna have it go off his skates, roll to Curtis Lee. Curtis Lee gives that over to Zach Ryan who returns the pass to Lee. Lee puts one on net and goes wide with it. Connor Brown now is gonna put that back down low, back towards the net and all blocked by Peace River. It's as if they're everywhere. And Peace River loses the puck in behind. Shot's gonna go wide off the stick of Lowen. Brown now collects it from the near side. And that'll be Zach Ryan pushing it back to Viennes. Shot's blocked by the defenseman. He's gonna push that one out into the neutral zone. And Lowen in transition tries to dump that back in, but Peace River dumps that all the way down. Olsen's gonna play it, no icing on the play. Viennes will be flushed out from behind his net. He's going to get that puck to Ryan, who can't get all his stick on it. Thomas Lowen now will get that down to the Royals' blue line, and the changing player gets back on. He'll gather the puck and dump that in behind Olsen, and the puck rolls around the boards, and that's Lowen taken into the boards by the Peace River Royals. Royals now battle for it. They're going to take possession and then lose it, and that's Raymond Dick who gets it up to Connor Brown. It rolls off his stick. And Royals are going to put that off the skate of the ends. Puck's going to be taken to the net by Peace River Royals. And the Royals center it. And Peace River still has control. Back to the point. Point shot is blocked by Nathan Brownlee as he's able to uh, interfere enough with the player's sh shot to the puck. Now is Raymond Dick. He's going to try to create a turnover in the Peace River zone. To the puck comes Mason Gosling now. And Puck's going to bounce to Raymond Dick to the front of the net, into the middle of the goaltender, hitting the horse and maybe putting a mark on the horse, but not able to put it right through the goaltender uh, as it was not Swiss cheese that was out there, Troy. Could not hit those no. holes. Put it on net, though, at least. Put it on net. Except when you shoot it at the middle of the net, well, the goalie can save it. Ten, they tend to be there. And here is... Peace River, they're going to put it along the boards. Nathan Brownlee trying to gather it. It's into the skates of Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick can't get it back to Nathan Brownlee. Peace River clears, and that'll be Moody who dumps it back in. And Peace River's going to pull it around the boards. Peace River will control. They'll pull it back down and put it up to the boards. Mason Gosling now is going to try to get there. Duncan Ross keeps the puck in. And Raymond Dick gets taken off into the boards. And Duncan Ross pinches up. Peace River will get it past him. They'll start skating up ice. And Peace River trying to drag it towards the net on Moody. Moody will put it towards the boards. Here comes Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee will pull it to the middle of the ice, trying to push through. And that's just out of the reach of both Brownlee and Raymond Dick. And Peace River player didn't want to play it. He thought there was too many men. Looks like he would have been okay to do so. And Dakota Olson plays the puck to Moody. Moody plays it back over to Ross. Ross is going to chip that up through the middle. And that bounces over the stick of the Peace River player. London takes his man out. Lang blocks the puck from going past him. And puck's still down low. And puck comes towards the board. It's going to roll towards Lang. Lang pulls it towards the middle. Has it swatted off of him. Schwantz can't keep it in. Schwantz is trying to play that back down low. Arbery's going to put that puck up to Lee. Lee's going to take it towards the middle of the ice. Lee's going towards the net. Lee is hooked from the back and loses control. It's back to London. Shot misses and hits the glass in behind the goaltender. Back towards the net was Arbery. Peace River will flip it right into their bench as London finishes his check and takes his man out as the whistle goes and the puck leaves the playing surface. Uh, officials want, want the faceoff out. Or the linesman wanted outside, but the referee says it's coming to the right of the goaltender. Curse Lee take the faceoff draw. That's going to come towards London. Lang will go gather it from behind the net. He pulls it back into the near corner, and puck's going to roll towards the goalie, and trackers can't get a stick on it. So Tracker's just trying to crack the goose egg here. Five minutes and 30 mm. seconds left. Pull the goalie now, Mr. Viennes. I'm just about tempted to. Peace River's going to gain possession if they're going to skate it out. They're going to dump that in. Caden Arbery's going to go to the puck. He's going to have pressure on him right away. 
And to the puck is Arbery. Arbery's hooked up from the back and has to go back the other way. Lang comes to the middle of the ice to Lee. Lee's going to move, move in. He's got Schwantz backside. Peace River defender reads it perfectly and deflects it away from Schwantz, who is sneaking in from the point. Shot's going to be buried towards the net, but blocked by Rule. That one's into the glove of Dakota Olson. He'll hold on to it and get a stoppage play. Four minutes and 52 seconds of agony left. It has been challenging, to say the least. Shane Hebert take the faceoff draw, and that's going to be batted back below the goal line by Lowen. He'll put it around the boards as he collects his own pass to himself. And Brownlee's hooked up from the back, and here will be a hooking call. And so Peace River will go to the penalty box. And looks like they're just rolling the lines now, Troy. Four forty-two left in the period. Five to nothing is the score for the Peace River Royals, who are steamrolling the trackers. Puck's gonna sit. Connor Brown's gonna reach. It's gonna go towards the boards. Connor Brown will come up with it. He goes towards the middle of the ice. He's gonna get that back over to Schwantz. Schwantz comes back to the middle to Arbery. Arbery looks on net. He stick handles and almost steaks himself out back to the middle of the ice. <laughs> Zach Ryan puts it to Connor Brown, and that's batted out there by Arbery, but it rolls out into the neutral zone where Kyle Schwantz will go collect it. Schwantz puts it up to Kurt Lee. Kurt Lee now making his way up ice. He's going to stick handle and go to the far side. And he's got Zach Ryan backside. Kurt Lee tries to toe drag around the Peace River player. He puts that puck back to Arbery. Arbery gets it to Schwantz. Schwantz on net. And that one looked like he was looking for a deflection in front. And that one's going to get deflected past Schwantz. Olsen will have to get out of the net to go play the puck. He's got a Peace River Royal player on him. He rolls it around the boards and to the puck will be Raymond Dick. He'll be met with resistance and have the puck stripped away from him by the Peace River player. And Arbery has it poked away from him. Peace River now applying pressure on the penalty kill. And Nathan Brownlee comes out with the puck. He's going to slide that puck up over to Kyle Schwantz. Schwantz will wrap that around the boards and skating towards it will be Nathan Brownlee. Nathan Brownlee gets pushed off the puck. He's going to bounce to the middle. Ross plays it towards the boards. He's able to keep that in. And it'll roll down to Mason Gosling. Gosling now in the corner. Battles for it. Raymond Dick gets that back up to Duncan Ross. Duncan Ross from the point puts that back down to Raymond Dick. Raymond Dick looking backside. Oh, and Mason Gosling can connect with the puck. And so 22 seconds left in the power play. And it's Dakota Olsen who will stop the puck up for Duncan Ross to go all the way back to. Two minutes and 56 seconds left in the period. Here comes Moody, Moody plays that up to Gosling. Gosling at the blue line, has it taken away from him, and Peace River wraps it around the boards. It bounces from Raymond Dick through the legs of Mason Gosling. Peace River plays that all the way to the penalized player who just returned to the playing surface. Dakota Olson gets down and deciding what he wants to do with the puck. It's going to roll to the middle of the ice, and this will come to the blue line and out. Peace River dumps that back in. And Moody will put it back behind the goal to Ross. Ross gets it up to Rule. Rule puts it towards the middle of the ice. Shane Hebert now has a step on the defenseman. Is he driving the net? No, he loses possession of the puck or handle on the puck. And Peace River is going to move it back up the near side and out into the neutral zone. And that'll be Vianz who gets that back into the neutral zone. Now Rule now avoids the check. He has his stick swatted out of his hands. And with a minute 55, that's not a penalty in the third period. Peace River is going to push that one back into the zone. And that's Lowen who meets the Peace River player in the corner. Centering pass off the side of the net. Peace River still sniffing for more. Lowen puts it along the boards up to Justin Brownlee. He's going to chip that one down the ice. And going back to the puck will be the Peace River Royals with a minute 30 left trying to preserve the shutout. And Peace River keeping it away from the tracker sticks. They put it into the equipment of the trackers. Kyle Schwantz now will have pressure on him. He puts that high and off the ledger of the boards. And puck's going to bounce towards Peace River zone. Chase London now is going to be bounced off the puck. 
And back to the puck was, I believe, Lowen to Lang. Lang looking up ice. He sidesteps the check and then tries to fire it up. Kurt Lee now to the puck, puts that back over to Noah Lang. Noah Lang covers the blue line, drives towards the net. And Lang, oh, he can't ha handle it as the puck rolls, of, rolls away from him. Kept in at the point. That's going to deflect into the corner. And kept in at the blue line by Lee. 42 seconds left in the period. And so Peace River put that down the length of the ice, and the whistle will go. And so faceoff will come all the way back down into the Peace River zone. Pull the goalie now, Mr. Viennes. About 59 minutes ago. <laughs> Should have listened when you asked the first time. Puck kept in towards the net into the glove of the goaltender. If you can look at all the way into his glove, you might as well just pick it up and put it there. So it would appear that the trackers will be shut out. Five to nothing is the score. A W is not very promising looking. Oh, Zach Ryan with oh. a knuckleball towards the net. That can't even fool the goaltender. He's just dialed right in. <sighs> Puck's gonna come to the blue line, kept in by Arbery temporarily. Peace River will push it out into the neutral zone. Arbery looking up ice, he puts that off the heel of Zach Reinstick. Ryan will put that back down into the corner and he'll go try to seek it out. Peace River comes back to the near side and we're down to six seconds left, so that should do it. Viewer. As Peace River comes to Fort St. John and hands the trackers their first regular season loss in league play. And so trackers will have a little bit of soul searching and have to think about what it is to play a full 60 minutes. Next action is going to come up quickly on them as they're headed to Delta for a tournament that they attended last year. They're returning to the Tim Jardine, Tim Jardine Midget Showcase. Two games on Friday, November the 8th. First one at 11 a.m. Second one will be at um, 8 o'clock, I think. 8 p.m. We'll be trying to bring you live action, maybe not with the same quality as we did today. Mm, probably not. If I remember that barn, it's not a fun one. Yep. We'll have to find ourselves a table the and table set up in a corner again. Step ladders. So thanks for joining us this, this afternoon to watch the NEBC and Yukon Trackers uh, get dominated 5 to nothing by the Peace River Royals. So thanks to the technical crew, crew Michael Basho, my cameraman, Troy Viennes, and myself, Todd Lang. Till next time, keep your heads up, sticks on the ice.